What's up, guys? Crypto Jack here coming at you today to talk about ballet cryptocurrency wallets. Now, if you don't know what this is, these are credit card size cards that are loaded, so to speak, loaded with different kinds of cryptocurrency. This one in particular is one from Bobby Lee, the founder. We'll go over that here in a minute. And Bobby loaded 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, which today is like $1.70 or something at $17,000. Uh, but here's the deal. I have made these before, you, and we'll show you a picture of that here in a minute. Um, I made my own card, and if I still had one, I gave every one of them away at the Litecoin conference. If I still had one, I would show you on camera, but I don't have one. Um, but what I did is I had my name, my logo, all my contact information stuff, and I did it with Litecoin loaded on it because it was at a Litecoin conference, right? Today, we are going to make some custom cards. I'm going to show you the whole process and I'm gonna make it with Bitcoin on it this time around. Um, so we're gonna go through it. It'll look very similar to Bobby's, except it'll have my information on it. So let's get into it. Let me show you some cool stuff. Thanks for being with me. All right, guys, before we get too far into this, let me remind you that I do have a referral link for Ballet Crypto. I wanna help these guys out. So if you do use my name, CryptoJack, as your coupon code at checkout, you'll get 5% off your purchase. So it's a pretty good deal. So you help me out with the referral link and then I help you get a discount as well. It's a win-win, right? It's a win-win. Okay, back to the content. I hope you enjoy. Okay, first things first, this is Bobby Lee. Now, if you remember this picture and the context of the picture, this is the brother to Charlie Lee, the founder of Litecoin. Bobby started this company, Ballet. Um, he's he's done many things over his life. This is one of the things he does right now. Now, this card is set up with two key features, okay? There's the deposit address, which is on the top, and that's what's shown right here, this number one deposit address. Now, you can peel that off, and that's why it shows the sticker separated from the card itself, and under this is the private key. There's a QR code private key. If all I did was I took this and I peeled it away, there would be a second QR code underneath the sticker and you'd be able to take off the funds that are on the card. In this case, remember, Char uh, Bobby put a 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. That's what's shown right there. We could put anything we want on it. It could be one Bitcoin. It could be, you know, one one millionth of a Bitcoin. It'd be anything. Now, before we get into too much, I want to show you what it actually looks like on the receiving end. So if you're not really sure like how this will work, you would download the Ballet Wallet. The app is Ballet Crypto on the Apple Store, and then I believe it's also on Android. But when you pull it up, it'll look something like this. Okay. And at the very bottom, you see the scan. We're going to click that. Scan. I'm going to flip the card around. I'm going to scan the QR. I just scanned the QR, and this popped up. Okay. So it shows in dollars, roughly what it's what it's valued at up at the top. Um, and then down at, at the little bottom half, it is verified that it's 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is exactly right. It's exactly what we need. And it's got a little bit, a few more pieces of information. I kind of click next. And now you see this on my list of things. By the way, this is what my, my business card that I made look like. Uh, sadly, I gave them all away. Otherwise, I, I'd show you right now. Mm. And again, here's Bobby's, I can click on it. Now I can transfer that Bitcoin off the card and all I have to do to do that is click transfer. And then the next step is to enter the private key. Remember the private key has to come off the bottom of this, the back of this card underneath the sticker right here. So I would actually peel that off and underneath that would be the private key. I don't wanna do that right now because I, I like collecting this kind of stuff. So maybe in the future one day, this is worth you know a whole bunch of money. So for now, let's just sit this like right there and we'll move on to the next steps. A few more things on Ballet Wallets. I just wanted to show you some of their, their cards they have. They have pre-made cards. Like you see all this stuff up here. Um, they're talking about all their, their Christmas, their different Christmas cards. There's Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy, uh, ha Happy Crypto Winter, which is actually kind of funny. I may I may circle back and buy a few of those because that's pretty funny. Um, and then there's different denominations, kind of preset, and and then there's different pack sizes. Now beyond that, there's these like customized ones, the Gold Tiger. You know, there's this like uh, silver kind of color, the real wallets they call them. There's all kinds of stuff. And then what we're gonna focus on today is our very own custom business card. So here's, we're gonna go to business, 
There's several little drops down. There's even some NFT options. Um, you can co-brand, you can be a reseller. And then speaking of the reseller side, I just noticed earlier Mantis Cryptos um, and I go way back with him. So shout out to Mantis, give him a little love. And let's go on to the crypto business cards. Okay, order now. Here we are presented with all kinds of options. The first is I'm just gonna show you um, kind of how this fills in. We'll go through and customize it here in a minute. Slogan. Slogan one, slogan two. I just want you to see how it populates in into the, the fields. Now notice there's several different crypto options, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, et cetera. There's many of them. Um, for some of these things, there's colors pre-selected. I can only select this kind of Bitcoin orange. And that's fine in our case. Like I have no, I have no issues with that. Um, Ethereum has this kind of gray color pre-selected. Now, if I chose Binance, I could kind of choose a number of different things, the BNB coin. And let's see, Litecoin, you can only do that, the kind of the Litecoin blue. So again, in our case, we're going to go with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has this orange color. Now we come down here and it tells you here are all the options that we can use. So, you know, if you want to be able to put a phone number, a maybe your Twitter handle, uh, your Telegram handle and your favorite website or like the best way to contact you. And then how many are you going to select? And then the next step. Boop. All right. So now let's actually go through and you're going to see me. We'll probably speed this part up, but I'll fill in all of my pertinent information and we'll go from there. All right, so I have the business card completed here. We have CryptoJack, stick to the plan. We got our logo, technical analyst, content creator, 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. Um, then we have all our information. We're just double checking that all this is correct. Underscore CryptoJack for Twitter, youtube.com slash at underscore CryptoJack, CryptoJack TTV at Gmail. Okay, all looks good. Everything looks accurate. Um, again, you can change any of this stuff. I, I think this looks pretty good though. So let's move forward. Um, the At this point, we're gonna use this. Please note, ensure that everything is accurate. It needs to look, you know, make sure this looks good. There's no going back once you do it. Okay, all right, and we are done. Chat, as soon as we get this in, I will do a big unboxing. We'll show off everything that came with it and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes then. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, um, and catch me on Twitch sometime, twitch.tv slash CryptoJack. And at the bottom of this video, don't forget, there's going to be a referral link for Ballet. I want to hook these guys up. There's even a little discount if you use my ref link. So be sure to check it out. I'm not trying to be perma bulljack, perma bearjack, just charts jack. Just whatever the charts are telling you, that that is all I'm good for. That's all I'm here for. And nothing else. I'm not I'm not your hype man. You know, I'm not your bear guy telling you to to sell sell sell.